Anderson Lawson, was born in Brooklyn, New York on December 1, 1940. His father, Blayton Lawson, worked as a longshoreman and as a voracious reader of science books, while his mother, Mannings, worked as a city employee and also a president of the PTA at a nearly predominantly white school he attended. She also stayed actively involved in his education throughout his childhood. As a kid, Lawson pursued multiple scientific interests. At the age of 13, he gained an amateur radio license, and he began to save money to buy electronic equipment from local electronics stores to build his own radio station to broadcast in his room. As a teenager, he started earning money by repairing electronics all over the city. He even taught himself most of what he knew about engineering. In the 1960s, Lawson attended Queens College in New York. After college, he began his career in electronics with ITT, where he was hired to go to Newfoundland to resemble and modify a radar set. He also worked at Grunman Aircraft, PRD Electronics, and Kaiser Electronics. In 1970, he joined Fairchild Semiconductor in San Francisco as a design consultant, and by the mid-1970s, he became the Director of Engineering and Marketing. While working at Fairchild, he began to develop his own Demolition Derby video arcade game in his garage in 1973. By 1975, video games were an emerging new market and seemed to be the next step for Fairchild's product line. Greg Reyes, who was Fairchild's Vice President of Consumer Products, decided that Lawson would be the ideal engineer to spearhead a new video game project within Fairchild. Lawson was made lead of the new video game division of Fairchild, which was kept a secret within Fairchild during its early development. Lawson's direct manager didn't even know what he was assigned to, and Lawson found himself reporting to the vice president with a budget to design a state-of-the-art video game console. Lawson led the development of the Fairchild Channel F console, which was released in 1976. Lawson and his team refined and improved technology developed at LPAX that allowed games to be stored as software or removable cartridges. These can be inserted and removed repeatedly from a console unit without any danger of electric shocks, specifically designed to use swappable game cartridges based on technology licensed from LPAX. In 1976, Lawson's led video game system was released as the Fairchild Channel F it became the first video game console to have swappable game cartridges. This new feature allowed consumers to purchase a library of games and provided a new revenue stream for console manufacturers. The Channel F console also featured a new 8-way joystick and a pause button, another first in a home video game console. The Channel F was not a commercially successful product, only selling 250,000 units. However, it was a very important step forward for the video game industry. The coverage approach was replicated by other console manufacturers, popularized with the Atari VCS in 1977, and was the mainstream media for game consoles for decades. In 1980, Lawson left Fairchild and founded Videosoft, a video game development company that made software for the Atari 2600 in the early 1980s as the 2600 had displaced the Channel F as the top system in the market. Videosoft closed about five years later, and Lawson started to take on consulting work. At one point, he worked with Stevie Wonder to produce a wonder clock that would wake a child with the sound of a parent's voice, though it never made it to production. Lawson later collaborated with the Stanford Mentor Program and was preparing to write a book on his career. On April 9, 2011, Jerry Lawson died of complications from diabetes. At the time of his death, he was survived by his wife, two kids, and his brother. Jerry Lawson was an American electronic engineer known for his work at Fairchild Semiconductor, where he was assigned as the lead engineer for the Fairchild Channel F video game console. He is one of the few African-American engineers who worked in the community at the dawn of the video game era. In March 2011, he was honored as a video game industry pioneer for his work on the game cartridge concept by the International Game Developers Association. On March 20th, 2019, he was honored with ID at Xbox Gaming Heroes Awards at the 21st Independent Games Festival 
for leading the development of the first cartridge-based video game console. University of Southern California's games program and Take-Two Interactive established the Joe A. Lawson Fund in May 2021 to support Black and Indigenous students enrolled in universities programming seeking careers in the video game industry. The legendary legacy of Jerry Lawson still lives on to this day. Thank you.